Many small girls have been asking me why they're not getting good views on their videos. And this video is full of 10 reasons why your videos are not getting the max views that they can be getting. So boys, if you watch the end of this video, you are determined to get way more views than you are right now. So boys, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on this video, subscribe, and watch to the end. Hope y'all enjoy and hope this helps. Alright boys, so the first reason that your videos are probably not getting views is because the topic has the idea. You gotta think about what your video is really about. You gotta think what stands out. And I see a lot of people just posting gameplay videos. And I'm gonna be honest, bro. They'll maybe get a couple of views. But the thing is, gameplay doesn't really stand out. And it's very basic. You wanna try to create an idea nobody has made. And even using other people's ideas is fine sometimes. You don't wanna completely copy their idea. So you kinda wanna personalize your idea a little bit. And just make sure you don't have too much of a basic idea. Or one that's a little bit too advanced or complicated. Alright, another common reason why your videos possibly might not be getting the best views that they could be getting is because a lot of people post videos with no thumbnails or just very, very basic thumbnails. And I don't mean basic in a good way. I mean literally one background and one text. And boys, if you do not know how to make a thumbnail, then make sure to go ahead and check out my thumbnail tutorial. It will be linked down below in the description. Anyways, let's go to the next most common reason why your videos might not be getting good views. Alright, so another common reason that videos get low views is because a lot of people do not have good titles. Like, I'm gonna be honest, man, I don't think Bedwars or Bedwars Solos or Bedwars Ranked are really good titles. Think about what your video is about. Like I said, you gotta think about the idea and try to create a nice title out of that. Like, let's say, let's say I'm doing the No Armor Challenge. You wanna make it sound a little bit hype and you wanna say, I beat the No Armor Challenge or I beat the Hardest Challenge, whatever you think makes a good title. And if you need help like making a good title, make sure to go ahead and ask some other YouTubers, use AI. There's like a lot of tools these days. But yeah, boys, make sure, make sure you're using good titles. All right, and the next one is very easy to fix. It's actually tags. And boys, I know tags do not seem very important, but it's actually one of the ways YouTube finds the right audience to push your videos out to. And all you have to do is go to YouTube Studio, just look up studio.youtube.com, then go to settings right here, then channel, keywords. These might be empty, and if it is, that's probably one of the reasons you're getting low views. All you need to do is actually get tags to all these tags right here. You just want to copy them and you want to paste them into here. It will automatically separate them and you just want to save them. The next thing you want to do is if, if it closed out your settings, just go back in settings. Go to upload defaults. And somewhere in your description, you want to add, you want to copy tag all the way to tags 3. Copy all this and paste it in your description. The tags actually connect to the title of your video. As you can see, I have Roblox Bedwars in all of my titles. And the reason why that's very important is because Roblox Bedwars connects with most of these tags. As you can see, Roblox Bedwars update, Roblox Bedwars, all of these. So make sure you try to use as many of these keywords as you can, but don't put, just don't put random tags. Make sure, make sure to use the tags as keywords in your title. And what that'll do is that'll connect those two and they'll help you to recommend your videos to the right audience. And I was in the middle of editing this video when I realized I missed the most important part of tags. And it's actually the tags who you just want to copy this again. And I forgot to mention where you, the main place you're supposed to put them. Upload defaults and then put them in the actual tag section. I, I, I don't know how I missed that. That was the main part of tags. Alright boys, and now I'm going to talk about length. Make sure you're not making your videos like 40 minutes long, unless it's like a marathon. If it's like a marathon, then I get it. But boys, make sure you're not making your videos like 40 minutes long, or like, I recommend making your videos like less than 20 minutes, maybe 20 minutes if your video is like just really long. Make sure you're actually cutting parts out of your videos if it's that long. All right, boys, now we'll have the reason done. And before we continue, I just wanted to ask, do you want a kit inside of Roblox Bedwars? If you do, make sure to go ahead, leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will be giving away 10 kits and a battle pass to you guys. Hope to see you all around the channel. All right, boys, and now I just want to say, make sure to be editing your videos because I'm gonna be honest, man, people do not really like to see unedited videos because they're pretty boring to watch. I mean, the minimum for editing is just cutting out parts where you don't talk and boring parts and maybe adding some music, but some good editing apps like CapCut, 
shortcuts, stuff like that. There's lots of editing tutorials. Just make sure to be editing your videos. Alright boys, and by entertainment, I mean how funny and entertaining your video really is. So you want to make sure that your video stays entertaining and funny throughout the video. And make sure not to let it get boring. So make sure to try to use jokes and try to use memes when you're editing your video. Just make sure not to overdo memes. I'm gonna be honest, bro, I used to overdo memes. I still kind of do today. But yeah, boys, make sure to keep your video funny throughout the video. And that will make sure people watch to the end. All right, now let's actually talk about engagement. So if you watch my videos, you probably hear me constantly talking about liking, commenting, subscribing, watching to the end, all of that. And the reason why I say that is because every time somebody likes, comments, watches to the end, or subscribes on your video, it actually lets YouTube recommend it to more people. Because that's the ways that YouTube actually sees that people are enjoying your video, and it will recommend it to even more people. So, uh, yeah, since we're on the topic, make sure to go ahead and uh, subscribe right now if you haven't already. Leave a like, watch the end, and comment down below if this is helping so far. Make sure to say that at least once in your videos, boys. Alright, boys, now we're going to be talking about quality and FPS. So, on your videos, I recommend to have at least 1080p quality or... At, and if you can't get 1080p, at least try to get 720p. And 60fps is very important. Make sure your video looks smoother. And for your quality, make sure to have at least 720p. To do this, make sure to export your video or just record it at like a higher quality. And it'll automatically do it for you. And yeah, boys, sometimes I do actually have 4K on my videos. Like, this video possibly might have 4K. It really depends on how much time I'm letting this export for all right boys so this is the biggest thing that will make sure your videos get lots of views and when i say this is the biggest boys this literally determines how your video grows and literally everybody t needs to know about this man no so many people don't even know about this setting bro it's crazy i call it the ultimate setting whenever you're uploading a video you want to scroll down and you might have to click show more and you want to find publish a subscriptions feed if you have less than 1k active subscribers like if if you're st first starting your channel and you're like barely getting views make sure to turn this off or if you have subscribers that currently aren't watching your channel you want to turn this off and what that'll do is that that'll make youtube instantly barely recommend it to your current fans but recommend it to a new audience more but once you have at least like 1k active subscribers that are watching your videos i recommend turning this on i actually keep this on it really depends on the video like if you're trying maybe a different game other than bed wars then i recommend turning this off what this does is if you turn this off it won't, it'll focus more on a new audience than your actual fans. And the reason why I don't recommend turning this on if you have like low active subscribers is because if your fans don't click on it and don't like engage with it well, like I said in, in the engagement part, then it's really not going to go to a new audience. So, but if you turn it off, it will take longer to grow. Like it'll take two days to start getting lots of views, but it'll get probably more views. Yeah, boys, this really use it as your own, at your own risk. Turn it off if you have less than 1K active subscribers and keep it on if you have more than 1K. And that's going to be it for the video. And boys, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, please subscribe, comment down below if it helped. And yeah, boys, I think that's going to be it for the video. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Love y'all, chat.